Hi everyone, welcome to today's webinar, Tips to Achieve Accurate Color on Flexible Packaging. Presenting today is Mark Moncada, one of our application specialists at x -Rate. I'm Robert Grotans, the Global Digital Learning Manager, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. Just a couple of things to go over today before we get started. Due to the number of people that are attending today's webinar, we will keep everyone muted. If you have any questions during today's presentation, please feel free to use the questions panel on the GoToWebinar control panel. We will have some time to answer a few of your questions at the end of today's webinar. Finally, this webinar will be recorded and we will follow up with an email after this webinar with a link to the recording so that you can watch it again. So with that, I will turn it over to Mark to get things started. Thank you very much, Robert. Uh, good day, everybody. Today's webinar is uh, focused in how X uh, Exact and Exact XP can help in a flexible packaging world. Okay. We all know that there are many benefits in, in flexible printing like uh, the extremely high uh, speed of the machines to, uh, to print, wide variety of substrates. We have several different substrates and can create different products for the, for the, cost of the final customer. And also a, a very a great variety of um, finishing for, this, for these products. But in terms of, um, of benefits, these benefits uh, when you want to make a prospective uh, from the uh, the measurement uh, prospect, uh, perspective, it can be uh, these are these disadvantages. For example, uh, uh, linked to the high speed, we can have short time in reaction in case of uh, of issue. There are too many substrates, so uh, the instrument has to be very versatile. And for example, the, diff the, the great variety of finishing interferes in the optical situations of the instrument. So this instrument, again, has to be very versatile. Also, as, we, as I said, there is a long list of different substrates and can be printed in, in flexible packaging and all of them have uh, uh, pe peculiarities, specialities in their, in their nature, so uh, the instrument has to be capable to make uh, measurements in all these different substrates. So, all these all these benefits or disadvantages that uh, we have found uh, make um, some challenges for us to make an instrument that can fit in this type of uh, printing and these challenges is basically a very quick uh, very quick instrument because uh, setup has to be quick to reduce time on consumables then uh, you, uh, we have to maintain during uh, these long runs that are usual in flexible packaging, we have to maintain a roll-to-roll -roll or sheet-to-sheet -sheet, uh, co uh, color quality and again uh, cover all type of situations that we can find. The features, the features that can help us <clears throat> uh, from, X, uh, from Exact is basically one of the most important of them is the full color touch screen. Uh, the instrument is a full color touch screen like uh, we are used uh, with our mobile phones. So the speed in selecting things in the instrument is very, very fast. Also in some of the models of, uh, of, X, of Exact, we can configure multiple user profiles. That means that uh, we can we can see in a single screen uh, exactly what we want to see. Also, we have an integrated Bluetooth 
uh, in the instrument, so it makes a very, um, a very portable instrument. It's a fast measurement device. The auto calibration is something that it's very interesting in terms of the speed in the in the necessity of making a measurement, as the instrument has an integrated calibration tile, where when the instrument is open, it auto calibrates itself. So it means that we will have an instrument available instantly to make a measurement. Job-based workflow is something that we will will help also because it uh, this uh, we will see it afterwards. But it's something that uh, will create a job where uh, we can find easily every patch we have to measure. Scan capability, of course, the huge amount of data we can have in one single scan will uh, speed up all our measurements. And there are also a wide variety of features that we will see during this presentation that will help in our day-by-day -day inflexible packaging. First of all, the instrument can measure density and density and all the different calculations in density. But what I want to point out of this slide is not only CMYK densities, but special colors and special colors tonal value capability. That means that the instrument can make measurements in colors that normally with CMYK are difficult to measure. And it takes the, the correct filter in the, in the wavelength where the, the color is uh, absorbing most to take these measurements. So it's not only CMYK, but can, we can make measurements in, co in special colors, which is something very uh, usual in flexible packaging. I want to point out also that the, all these calculations are not included in exact basic, which is the, the more basic model of uh, extra, uh, exact. The exact basic has only the, the, the density calculation. If you want to have the, the entire variety of, uh, of uh, calculations, you have to move to a basic plus, which is uh, uh, an advanced density meter or exact standard or exact advanced, which are spectrophotometers that include also density data. In terms of color data, obviously only exact standard and exact advance will include these uh, calculations. Uh, I will not extend on that. Obviously, it is supposed that if it, if it is a color calculation, we will have LAB, LCH, several delta E's calculations all integrated in the, in the exact. The interesting thing is the job-based workflow benefits because uh, as you can see in this screen here, in this screenshot here, the job-based workflow makes a uh, very easy to see or easy to valorate uh, data in one single screen about all data that you will have in your job. Once you have measured the 100% of all colors, uh, the job will auto uh, recognize if you are measuring a, a screen, if you are measuring, measuring an overprint or a gray balance, it will be automatically recognized. One of the most usual uh, useful functionality that we have in the in the exact or the in the exact XP is the uh, the best match functionality. This functionality is giving us a very quick uh, um, interpretation, a very quick estimation about the ink we have in the ink unit. Even though the current measure measurement is could be out of our tolerances, this functionality is making a calculation about the best delta E we can 
achieve if we just move the concentration in the printing. When we are talking about concentration, we are talking both, depending on, on what is easier, both um, in thickness or, mm, or giving extender or pigment to the, to the ink, okay? But the thing is that if this number here is good, we can say that the ink we have in the ink unit is correct. The only thing we have to do is adjust this concentration. Or if it is not good, we can say that the ink that is in the ink unit has to be reformulated because it will, we will not achieve a correct color even though we play with the, the, the concentration in the, in the machine. Other indexes that are interesting, the first one is basically interesting for uh, people who is printing paper because the Breitner index is giving us an estimation of how much optical Breitner agents we have in the substrate. Optical Breitner agents makes, uh, makes the white more Breitner, okay? And it's very usual when we when we are printing paper, not that usual when we are printing film, and not at all usual when we are printing uh, transparent film. But this index is calculating this uh, this this uh, amount of optical brightener agents, uh, making a simultaneous measurement between M1 and M0, which are different measurement conditions that can make this calculation. Another interesting um, calculation we can find in the in the exact exact XP, but only in the advanced mode. Ah, sorry, I didn't set that Breitner index is only in the standard and advanced mode. Opacity is only in the advanced mode. And it is based in a it is based in a ratio calculation uh, between a black uh, between making the measurement in a black background compared to a white black background. This opacity will uh, sometimes this opacity is interesting not only to see how opaque is our substrate but for example when we are printing uh, reverse with white ink lawyer. The, the, this information can give us the, the, the capacity of this white ink lawyer to hide the um, how to uh, to give an uh, opacity to our product. Also, one of the benefits of both exact and exact XP is the availability of the Pantone uh, libraries. Uh, this availability is based because we have created a default user in our Pantone Live cloud. And this default user is uh, has a free access to our uh, CU and pastels and neons uh, libraries. These libraries are accessible through the exact manager software that is included in the package of the exact and the exact xp and you can download these libraries directly to the instrument with a simple drag and drop process into the exact manager software as i told you there is a panton live cloud which is very interesting especially for flexible packaging what we did in the Pantone Life is to create um, um, printing dependent Pantone libraries. That means that we have created a Pantone, a, let's say a Pantone C library special for all of the printing situations we can found, we can find. That means that with a Pantone Life account or a Pantone Life license, you can access through the Exact Manager software to the different uh, dependent libraries 
and as uh, the same as the official libraries you can just with a drag and drop drop them into the uh, the instrument memory we talk about the scan capability the scan capability in flexible is very interesting as long as we don't need a full color a full straight color bar the exact has the capability to measure different um, small color bars all together to make a full color bar. Sometimes in the designs of flexible, we don't have enough space to place a straight color bar. So we have to spread different patches uh, all along the, the all along the, the design. So uh, exact can create can measure this spread patches in what he received a full color bar. Uh, the scanning capability combined with the Bluetooth connectivity of the exact makes a very quick and easy um, capture of data. Of course, following ISO standards, exact and exact XP has the different uh, M conditions. Exact has the M condition M0, M1, M2, M3. But as you can see in the bottom of this slide, Exact XP does not support M3 condition. There is a story in, in behind of, of this lack of support because, and now we will explain how was exact XP born and the difference between exact and XP. We have detected that regular exact only in one single situation, which this situation is transparent film reverse printing without white ink lawyer, we have detected that the instrument, if it is placed in the angle of the web direction, or we turn the instrument 90 degrees uh, in respect of the web direction, we found that there were a significant difference in delta E uh, when measuring colors. This difference is due to the calendar strips that are uh, created when the film is extruded. These strips, when there is no white ink lawyer in behind, makes some shadows, little shadows, when you measure the, the, the film on a white background, and these shadows makes this difference. Curiously, we detected that M1 was not affected for, uh, for this uh, experience, so M1 was free of this of this problem. What did Xrite made on that? So development team uh, started to uh, modify the optics of Exact to solve the solution, but the solution they found was not fitting inside the size of the instrument. So Xrite decided to remove M3 from the exact to create the exact, uh, exact XP, which XP means exclude polarization. Why we excluded M3? Because if we have an instrument which has to solve something so focused to the flexible packaging, like the problem with the transparent film reverse printing without a uh, whiting lawyer, in flexible packaging, M3, which is the polarized filter, is rarely, rarely used. Why? Because polarization filter is trying to simulate wet ink compared to dry ink. This is very important in types of uh, in, in printing systems like offset, where the drying time is more sometimes more than 24 hours. But in flexible packaging, we have a nearly instantaneous 
drying of the inks. So M3 is not is not uh, is not necessary in flexible packaging. That's why we took this filter out of the XP to create this instrument that covers all the situations for, for flexible packaging. In terms of product, there is a absolutely parallel um, collection of products between exact and exact XP. The, the, the externally, they are exactly the same, except a little XP in the logo. Both have the same modules, basic, basic plus, standard, and advanced models. Both have the scan capability as an option. Both have the Bluetooth capability also as an option. They have also the same range of uh, apertures where uh, as, a, as a order option. Also important, they have all of uh, both exact and exact XP, the same connectivity with our softwares and have both the exact manager and data capture software included in the package. I didn't went very in deep with this with this um, pres this presentation this webinar because uh, there were four webinars to go in deep in the use of the exact they do you have the links here and I guess that Robert we will copy them in the in a, in the chat of this of this meeting these four webinars you have a, a very in deep um, an in deep explanation of the exact and everything that is said about the exact will be okay for you with the exact XP except what when M3 is mentioned in these videos. So thank you very much for your attendance. Now it's time for questions. Please, Robert, did we have any questions there? Thank you, Mark. At this time, if you have any questions, feel free to submit your questions now. A few things while we wait for questions to come in. I did okay. drop those video. I did drop those video links into the chat. So if you are interested, feel free to um, take those from the chat. I am also going to pop up a polling question. If anyone is interested in talking to a sales representative or learning more, um, feel free to answer that polling question and we can get you in touch with someone. I will leave this up for a few minutes while we wait for questions to come in. I see one question here. Should I change my existing exact, not an XP, if I am a flexible printer? That's that's an excellent an excellent question, Robert. Um, depends on the use you you do of this of this exact. As I mentioned, is very the, the 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 creation of exact XP is very focused in this in this concrete situation of the transparent film. If you are aware, if you are aware of this uh, this problem, this little problem of the exact, there is no need on changing the instrument. You can just make a good procedure as uh, um, explaining exactly how the measurement has to, to be done and it can work out. But if you want to convert the exact to, to an exact XP to feel more confident on the, on the instrument, the, the conversion can be done uh, as a flat rate repair, like any repair that can occur on the, on the exact just uh, you have to follow the same procedure and uh, specify that you want to change from exact to exact XP. I'm not seeing any more questions at this time so we will go ahead and end here for today. Again a recording of this webinar will be sent out tomorrow. Um, I'll also include the links to the other webinars in the series. Um, we do recommend 
checking those out as well because this webinar does build off on those other webinars in the series. Um, so I think all of the webinars in the series are a great resource to kind of check out and gain more information. So I'd just like to thank everyone for joining today and thank you, Mark, for presenting. So Pleasure. have a great day, everyone. Yep. And have a great rest of your day.